This is a video demonstration for focal length experiment option one. Firstly, the materials that we will require. We will require a convex lens, which is just any kind of magnifying glass that you can find. We will require two pins. You can also use needles or something like that, a ruler, some scotch tape, scissors, and it would also be really convenient to have a tape measure uh, to measure the distances uh, from the lens, the image and the object distances. If you don't have a tape measure, you could also just use some tape and mark the distances on that, or just simply um, use any kind of pen on a surface and mark distances with a ruler from the lens. The first step is to measure the approximate focal length of our convex lens by trying to focus a distant image on a screen. For this purpose, I will use the distance image that I will use is my window, and the screen is the door com the uh, completely opposite to the window. So. This win because uh, the window is located so far away from the convex, uh, the, the focal length of the convex lens, it will act as an object at infinity, and the image will be focused on the uh, focal point of the lens, and that will help us find out the approximate focal length for the lens. So, as you can see here, I'm trying to focus the image of the window on the white door that I have. You can, if you don't have any kind of smooth screen, you could just um, sco uh, use scotch tape and tape a paper, a uh, white sheet of paper on a surface and try to focus an image on that. Um, I have taped my ruler on the door because it was difficult to both hold the camera and um, the lens and the ruler at the same time. You don't need to do this. You can just um, use your ruler and your lens to measure the distance from the screen from where the image appears most focused and um, from that to the lens. So at this point, as you can see, the image appears most focused and most clear. And the distance is around, say, 10.5. So just measure that approximately. We will measure the actual focal length uh, by using the lens formula in, uh, la in the later steps. But for now, we just need the approximate focal length to design our experiment. So here you can see the image of the window is most clear and as we know from lens theory this image is inverted. Um, the roof from the image of the window that I've shown before is actually um, at the bottom and the tree is on top. So th that's how we know that it is actually an inverted image and it is being formed on the focal length. Right. This is an image that shows the uh, the image that has the focused image of the window. In the next step, I'm going to tape my tape measure onto the surface that I have, just using scotch tape so that it stays stable. And this uh, tape measure will act as the principal axis of the convex lens. I will tape the convex lens at some distance uh, on the tape measure. For this experiment, I believe I chose 45. Uh, you can just choose any um, distance really. It doesn't matter where you place your convex lens. Uh, it's just that the distance of the needles on both sides should be twice your approximate focal length, which I will discuss in future steps. So here I'm just trying to make my lens stable so that it um, doesn't fall just using some tape as support. Next, in order, in order to have a mount for your needles, I will use a small piece of foam and also you can use an eraser. Now my needles were too big for, to appear in the lens properly, so I have basically bent my needle in half and this has the added advantage that the um, point the edge of the needle that sticks out of the eraser and the foam can actually act as a pointer which will tell you accurately what distance it is at. So I'm just going to use this to mark our positions. In this experiment, I'm going to use the blue uh, needle as my object needle. I will place it about twice the distance of the approximate focal length from the convex lens on one side. And this will act as the needle whose image I will try to uh, obtain from the other side of the lens. This is my object needle. 
and the pink the pink needle will act as my image needle which i will use to locate the image of the object needle so as you can see here from the other side i am viewing the image of the blue object needle and i will use the other image needle and try to locate the image of this object needle so to do that i will um, place the image needle at such a distance that both the image needle and the object needle appear to be appear to be in the same line. This is called removing parallax error, that even after um, shifting your camera, moving your camera, the image, appear, the image needle and the object needle appear to be in the same line and um, they don't disconnect. So it hasn't happened yet, but just wait a second while I move my image needle backwards and forwards still not there but yes so this is the position at which they appear to be in the same line and even with me moving the camera the image uh, the the pins do not appear to disconnect which is a good indicator that this is the position where uh, the image of the image needle is located. As you know from the, uh, the uh, theory of lenses, if an object is placed twice the focal length uh, from the lens, its image will be obta it will be obtained about twice the focal length on the other side of the lens. So this is basically the application of that theory. Now I'm trying to find out the object distance and the image distance. The object needle seems to be placed around 11.5, whereas the lens itself is placed at a distance about 35. Yes, 35. Um, and the image needle is placed, let me just see where the pointer is. It seems to be placed around 553 Right, it's 55.3. So the difference between 55.3 and 35 will give us the image needle, the distance from the image to the convex lens. And the difference between the difference of 35 uh, minus 11.5 um, will give us the object distance, which is the distance from the convex lens to the object needle. And here I'm going to show you the distance from the image needle to the convex lens. Now using these distances, we can use the lens formula to calculate the focal length of our convex lens. This is the end of the demonstration. Good luck.